the scene about the, 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 the growth in Africa, the, the high numbers, uh, Guinea is probably be around 8 to 10 percent growth this year and next year, but that this growth is basically not, uh, uh, not going to the locals and that growth is basically re-exported through the mining companies, the foreign companies, etc. How can we get more inclusive growth? How can we get uh, that progress more locally ingrained? Comment on peut faire pour que cette croissance ne soit pas réexportée et qu'elle reste, euh, euh, qu'elle reste? How can we make sure that uh, this uh, growth actually is profitable? Growth. Mining sector is the main sector and uh, which is capitalistic. All the revenue, uh, I will say, the most of it goes to out, out, outside Africa. So how can we keep some of the revenue in Africa? What is, that is the challenge, the main challenge. What we are trying to do in Guinea is the approach we called local content. Try to capture some of the value added in the uh, in mining sector to make people work, to make local entrepreneurs work, to get employment speed, the, which is not a easy task, by the way. But, but he said, the, it's the state, a long process. Does the state have... It's a long process. Does the state have... Uh, negotiating powers with these companies, or how can you, how can you, as no. a state, discuss contracts, revenues? You need, you needed that capital. How can you have a? For instance, let that? me say, I, as soon as get got into office, one of my measure was, from now on, no transportation by outsider. Okay. Mining companies should subcontract the transport of uh, uh, imported goods from the port to the mining site or from the site to the port. They have to. They must subtract this to local entrepreneurs. That's the only way mm. to make things work. Okay. Yeah. Um.